Good morning, guys, and welcome to yet um, another ICT application video. And this is the ninth video. And in this video, we'll be looking at the recognition. Uh, we'll be looking at the recognition system. Now, uh, let's get back. Let's get to it. So the first thing um, you want to know is what is the recognition system. Now, a recognition system is used to directly enter data, right? into the computer word system that's what it is right the, it recognizes the data and there is a sensor that sends that data into the computer system right and this recognition system tend to be what more accurate and quicker right as a method for entering data into what the computer word system it's way faster compared to what the manual method okay so we'll be looking at um, um the recognition systems in in various um ways various devices i will start with the optical uh mark recognition the optical mark recognition so let's look at that let's look at the first the optical mark recognition i will look at it in in medias in schools and what it does is for the optical mark recognition, it is used to for in school they are used for school registers and for multiple choice um, uh, papers, right? Okay, papers. That's your MCQ. Okay, that's multiple choice examination papers. And for registers, the register which is the hardware is fed into the oil out to be scanned and then stored on the database. Um, for examination, um, for multiple choice, the position of the mark is stored in the computer memory. The mark is stored in the computer memory after being read by the OMR device, right? Using what? A template that maps out the X, Y, what? Coordinate of each word, um, long Z. So we have it as the pen or pencil word mark. Another important thing we should know about the OMR is, um, is that uh, is a method for entry data in in the computer system right it reads uh, both your pencil or pen or marks in a predefined position on the paper and if you check it here you can see that for example this is a good a good example of an OMR right here now this is a multiple choice question and the way it's been done um you use your pencil to answer the question and this particular paper right here is slotted into this machine now the marks is stored in this memory so it reads it with the answer it has it has this web hour and if the correct one it gets the total it uh, gives you total grading which is being stored in the computer system that's what it does so the web hour data entry contains information that convert the presence or absence of mark into a computer data file and that is what it does so uh, what is acceptable is a black pen or a pencil and which is being scanned by this particular word machine the next one we'll be looking at is um so i look at the OMR both in school registers and of course for the multiple choice uh question papers uh, so the next one is of course the advantages of the OMR right here is the faster way of imputing result of a survey that's one and uh, they are more accurate than keen in the data that's two and they are accurate than the optical character word uh, methods and we're going to look at what the OCR uh, does disadvantage on the other hand is that it needs to be carefully designed to make sure the marks or shading are correctly positioned to gather accurate word information okay and there can be problems if they are not filled um, in uh, correctly okay they often work limited with the black pen or the pencil as the case maybe of course they are limited to questions on the paper so it's not possible to get an expansion like you cannot have uh it's just for just multiple choice questions and for registers that have that uh, thing that have been coded so we'll look at the next one uh right here which is the ocr and the ocr is your optical character recognition okay so that's what it does now with the optical character recognition and i've showed you guys in class how it works is is able to scan text 
and that text is converted in, in a format that can be what edited so it scans anything hardware and it makes it into a digitalized form just like uh, talking about digitalization conversion of your text into a digital form so for example you can have a passport and you place that passport right here on the machine and that thing shows on the system so it converts that um plain text or that paper document or passport into what a digitalized form that's just um just what uh, the OCO uh, does. That's just what it does. Um, addition to it, um, uh, how it works in terms of image acquisition, um, in terms of uh, text recognition, in terms of pattern matching, in terms of uh, feature extraction, because they can be able to extract um, those informations that is on that passport, and those um, informations can actually be worked on. And that's just what. Uh, it does okay um the next one is your micr okay which is your magnetic ink character reader your magnetic ink character reader of course most of this has been covered in chapter two so um it's not actually very new to uh to most of us okay for our, um magnetic for our magnetic ink um character recognition is used for checks okay it's used for checks and it's used to uh, uh it's found at the bottom of the checks and they are being scanned so you bigger your check and there's a machine for it which you place um that particular check uh, into it and it is able to capture what it is so the magnetic ink character recognition right um enables the computer to rapidly read and record um, numbers or other information from what printed document for printed document such as your personal checks right so the information is the check number the routing number and of course the account number okay the next one is your rf id the next the next one is your RF. so for also the uh, magnetic ink uh, character um with that it is also to check right and to validate if that check is actually what genuine they will check and confirm against their system to check if that particular check is genuine to ensure that that check is not a fraud or uh, somebody is just trying to mimic the signature because it checks to the signature to check if that is the actual signature of the uh, owner of the check signing for that check or to it yes and also the number okay and also the number very 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 important okay so let's move on to the um rof um, id which is uh your video frequency identification number so let's let's look at it how a um how the rof id works although um the rof id has yes been covered also in chapter two but still we're going to um we're still going to look at it to see what it does okay so i have i have it here now for your rfid your rfid right it is a wireless communication that incorporates the use of what electronic magnetic or electrostatic coupling of the radio frequency position or to uniquely identify an object right remember that there is a there is a tag to it okay so whenever that tag is placed on any material or any cargo we can be able to trace where that particular object is located we can be able to place where that particular object is located okay so um how does it work now if you check if you check how it works you will discover that um the rfid consists of three components one there is a scanning antenna right there is a trans receiver and there is a chorus a, a transponder okay now how this works is that when the scanning antenna and the trans receiver are combined they are referred to as what the rfid word reader or interrogators and there are two types of uh, rfid readers we have the fixed readers and we have the mobile word reader so it's a network device that can be portable and can be what permanently attached you see that you see the way they do that in some um um cartons that they are going to ship out to other countries and they use that tag on those cartons so that they can be able to locate where those uh containers or where those uh 
uh, things are the way they are taking it to other uh, countries okay so it also um uses the radio wave to transmit what signals that activate the tag okay once activated the tag sends a wave back to the antenna where it is translated into what the data where it is translated what into the data okay now the transporter is i was talking about the rfid okay and what i was talking about in the rfid um, is talking about uh, the components that the rfid has talking about the antenna the trans receiver and a trans correspondent a transponder rather and when the scanning antenna and trans receiver are combined they are referred to what the rfid reader or what interrogator now um, there are two types of the RFID readers. We have the fixed and mobile word reader. And the, the radio frequency identification device is a network connected device that can be portable or permanently what attached. It uses what video video wave to transmit signals that activate what the tag. And once activated, the tag sends a wave back to the antenna when it is translated to the Toward to the into the word data. Now the transporter is in the RFID word tag itself. So that tag is what they use to track what the device. The next one we'll be looking at is what the auto the um, automated number word recognition word um, plate recognition. Okay, which is your AN word um, PR. So we're going to be looking at that automated word number plate recognition system now it is used to read automatic number words it is used to read plates of cars in the number application that way if to detect a car if it goes over line and the signal will send it to what to the microprocessor to take the image of what the number word plate it checks for your the speed limit it checks for those who are not keeping to the traffic word rules Okay, now there are numbers of steps in which it goes on. The first one is that it will there's a camera there that detects the car, and once detects the car, the sensor will um, um, once the sensor detects that vehicle and sends a signal to install the camera to capture an image of the front of the vehicle. Um, of course, infrared cameras are used to give a clear image um, for use at night. That's what they use. Even right here in Edward, we also make use of that. For the step two, what is called that, the step two is that the algorithm is used to locate and isolate what that number what plate. That's what it does. Translate the number plate from image taken by what that camera. So it takes your number plate. Now, if it's not clear, there's a brightness and contrast with number plate that is first adjusted to ensure that the characters can be seen clearly. And three, each character is then recognized using the OCR software or software yes, and the characters are converted into a string of what edited text by that software. Okay, the text string is then stored on a database. For step three, if all of this has happened, the car uh, barrier is, is raised. And the motorist is going to be charged with a ticket and he replaces his car and he has to pay one that ticket. Now, what is the advantage is it monitors average speed of vehicles over stretch of road. There's no need to employ a car uh, park security guard because there are cameras, infrared cameras there. It is more is a much faster system than having to check um, a ticket at the exit. It can be used to automatically control the entry and exit of a to a car park or private road. Although it doesn't go without some disadvantages because the lack of security cameras um, can cause a lot of things, okay? Because nobody is checking a regular basis. City is often used, but it's just used after the event. So it can cause, to, it can cause um, all sorts of crimes, right? Because nobody is actually watching. Um, invasion of privacy concerns can be raised due to recording of the driver's number plate okay damage or event dirty number plate cannot be seen clearly by the system and although of course there's always the issue of number plate word cloning 
Okay, so that is um, the end of that. So 